Welcome to part 5 in our series Introduction to 3D True Space for Illustrators. In this particular tutorial we're going to set up a couple of scenes that will demonstrate how easily we can render um, scenes of our objects using different lighting scenarios for prospective clients. So here we'll use a little bit of action by taking the top from this second perfume bottle. Using our collision tools we'll line it up and lay it on our ground plane. Just to show a little bit of a difference between the two bottles and to provide a slight element of action within the scene itself. So once our top is set up let's just zoom out a little bit here and create a ground plane that we'll use as our floor object. Bring in a camera, set up the camera so it's looking at the bottles, open up our uh, second view scene, adjust this ever so slightly, tweak it as required. For this first shot we'll have the perfume bottles carry an air of dominance. They'll look huge as as we see from the camera and with our ability to change lighting let's bring in a pre-existing lighting scenario this is available to you in the resource folder we only have two lights in this particular setup and the one light that we're going to select and focus on actually uses a uh, an effect called volumetrics so we've enabled volumetrics on this light. We'll open up our render toolbar and select the advanced volumetrics. Its panel. We'll make a few adjustments to some of the settings on this panel. And if you were to use these same settings, you would get the same results as we are about to get. Set our background to a nice black color. And we have the ability in True Space to set the size of these view windows. So here we'll set the width to oh, 420 and the height to 500. And because we do not necessarily want a pristine render, let's change our anti alias to draft, which will allow for a faster render. So a quick render, we'll cut out the middle and give you the final. Here you can see we've pretty much uh, rendered a nice sun through the bottle object. Very pristine and done in such a short period of time with the tools within True Space. Very elegant, very easy to use. Of course we want to save this scene and the entire setup including the lights. And of course keeping with our organization we'll rename this particular uh, scene file in our scene library. And let's call up our bottle um, scene, something that we've set up and that's available to you in the resources folder. And again making a few adjustments, selecting a pre-existing lighting setup. We can again do some tweaking to the view from the camera. The bottles take a less dominant role in the image as we're looking at them from the top down. We'll turn off anti-aliasing all together and do a quick render here. So here you see within a short period of time two different uh, scene setup scenarios each giving essentially a, a very dramatically different render of our perfume bottles. Here this image is a little softer, a little quieter than the previous one but again the dramatics of the difference between the two is what we wish to impress upon you here. So of course saving and in this case replacing and renaming this particular scene in our scene library. Of course we should save our scene library after we're finished doing such. But as you can see very quickly, very easily we've just set up two renders, two scenes that are all ready to go. So the ability to make changes and adjust in true space very quick, very easy using this powerful tool set. 
So let's move on to part six of the series.